and burn it, and all those kind of really nice caramel notes you get from rum, kind of getting those with a little bit of a burn on them. That is our Tian Slim. Get these well. Uh, the blend between the kind of mushroom and chili and also the spices and the soy that's in this. A nice sip and you'll really get all those flavors. So the event's gonna be called Gambe. Cheers. Just something that we should like really try and get out, I reckon. So second drink. Same guy. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get in there. She'll get funnier the more you drink. And, but yeah, enjoy. Cool. Okay, so this one is the Yuzu 75. Uh, but it just packs so much flavor to use it. Garnish. What you can see is um, it's dehydrated orange, and then what we've done is blitzed it into a dust. So the main reason we dehydrate our fruit is because it's zero waste. You know, when you see traditional bartending kind of like peeling the skin off, the amount of waste you're left after you peel it all off, that just goes in it. Unless you make your own orange juice. When citrus being, uh, I guess, characteristic of where we're from, we the fruit bowl in Australia. Well, 1915. Um, and it's, it's one of those classics that you can see everywhere. We just really wanted to take it and kind of use the flavors that we use in the kitchen, but actually put them to the middle of the drinks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sure you guys have eaten here enough to know that the food's pretty good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, the idea of pairing these two was the easy to split through the kind of creaminess. Uh, I just realized that I was in your video as well. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so you guys, we've got the two desserts. The tiramisu is obviously one of the sweeter ones. Okay. Uh, we've got the mango with a nice light chocolate meat. 
good time as well. Uh, it's got a little bit of zest to it. Uh, and the whole way that the drink is this one. So yeah, aviation, the reason this is so close to my mind, aviation is one of the first cocktails I ever learned to make. When you learn hundreds, you always go back to that first one. Uh, I incorporated the butterfly in the you know, who doesn't like tea? And uh, it looked uh, I'm very proud of it. It's very Instagrammable. Uh, it's one of my favorites. The combination with this and the sweetness that comes through, a little bit of acidity comes with the VR as well. It's not normally a cocktail that you go in an order. Uh, you have to, it's one of those ones that if you have it once, you have it again. So we're trying to get that little niche. You can't go in and order this anywhere else. This is one of our real signatures. So, so I hope you enjoy it and thank you very much for coming. Um, thank you very much to Kane, obviously, as well. Kane, thank you. Yeah, uh, enjoy. Uh,